Hi ladies, how's it going? Uh, so I just, I have a couple, well a bunch of these postcard bases. Uh, so I want to make one or a couple for my nature journal. And this one I sanded down, so I'll show you. I just used a old uh, emery board or nail file. And I just sanded this down a little bit so that way I can glue stuff to it and it will hopefully stick to the um, postcard. So I just basically want to get that shine off the uh, card. Might be a little overkill, but okay, so like that, and then I'll take a napkin and or a uh, paper towel and just wipe that ink off like that. And then I think I'm gonna where this is a grungy journal, I want to scruff up the edges and it's okay if it rips like that um, I hope that noise doesn't bother anybody So there, rough that all up. We got a couple little tears, but that's okay. I think that will just add character. And let's, let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe this way? Let's, let's ink the edges. I don't know if I should do this now or wait till after I'm done covering it. But I'm gonna try doing it now. That way maybe I can save a step. I'm gonna do the both sides. So we'll do both sides, get them all inked. that so I went ahead and did this one off camera so I got them both done I think I may do one this orientation and then one this way and I'm just going to use I have some of this uh It came from this, and the pages are really awesomely aged. I don't know what year this is, to be honest, and it's aged so nice. I'm just kind of curious. It's only 1982, but it's it must have been sitting near the sun somewhere and got weathered really good. So, so I got that. I figured I could use... Some pieces of this as a base. <clears throat> It'll probably most likely all be covered anyway, so. Well, I like that. I like the note and noted words on here. So I'd like to be able to 
save those. Although I like that really colored edge too. <laughs> These little pieces may come in handy, so I'll hold on to them. Okay, so I'm going to use maybe some glue stick if I... There it is. I was going to say if I could find it. You never know. On... Okay, thanks, son. You never know um, if I'm going to be able to find something on this mess of a desk. I should have inked around the edges of that, but that's all right. So there's one covered, and then I have some of this um, advertisement from a vintage magazine. And I liked the diamonds um, because diamonds can be found in nature, right? They're like... Um, you know, found in the ground, like rocks and, um, what is it, gemstones and, uh, it's a word I'm looking for, Qu quartz and, I'm no expert, but, you know, just trying to get that rough edge. I guess they don't all need to be, um, this one I wanted to do this way. It's okay if one edge is, um, not straight, or is straight, my goodness. Most likely this will all be covered up anyway. In the back, I think I'm going to leave just looking through some of these cutouts I have already, but I have, I think I have one in mind. I haven't cut it out yet, but either a bunny or some bears. So here's the bears I have. These are from uh, my porch prints. And there's the bunnies. The cute little bunnies. I like this bear. This one right here. He's real grungy looking. And I think he's the perfect size. Bad cutting already, starting out, because <laughs> I don't have it up to my face. I'll put it up a little closer. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna keep that air. Ear.
right, let's see. That goes that way. I feel like I need more on the background of this. I just got up from a little nap. Felt wonderful. I didn't, I actually didn't want to get up. <laughs> but I made myself. I got a tickle on my foot. I'm trying to itch it. Oh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's see what. Hmm. He looks like a big old grizzly bear. All right. What does this say? Behavior of animals. I kind of like that. See, I'm just, I'm totally covering up the diamonds. Well, one sticks out, but... What else do we need? I still need something. I have a number here, number 10. We can put numbers with animals. What's this? I got a scrap of this stuff here. Hmm. I've been um, <clears throat> kind of finding a hard time with my flow. Not really bad, but just a little. Like, I find myself struggling a little bit. This is from a playing card. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna go with that.
Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention to you guys, and I want to apologize, um, is, like, if you guys, I don't know, like, I don't know why this happens, but I found lots of comments from you guys in my, oh, what was it called? In my other box, um, to re held for review box. And it's nothing, I, I don't have one bad comment in there, I don't think. So why are they holding, why are they held for me to review? I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I have comments in there. I didn't realize, I didn't think I had any comments in there. I didn't realize I have comments in there from like two years ago. Two years ago. And why I never thought to never check that um, option, I don't know. I just thought, um, you know, all my comments were coming to me. And so, yeah. I don't understand. So I guess I'll be checking that box a lot more often so that I can see your guys' comments. Okay, so I think I'm done with that one. Now this one. I love getting comments. I love reading them and... Um, I may not always answer right away, but I try to um, put a heart next to it to let you know that I've seen it. And I'll usually um, get back to them when I can. But why that is... Uh, why most of my comments are going to that other box, I don't know. I don't know. I need a little sip. I got another little uh, nature that I stamped out on some old book page, cut off piece. Too bad I could. Oh, oh! I thought that said nur It says nurture. I thought it said nature. For a second, I probably cut that word off. Did I? Nimble. Noise. Hmm. Anyways, I got it here too. So. We can always keep that simple too. I need to put a piece of book page or something under this so that it doesn't stick to the glue that's on my paper there.
I've had this butterfly forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so I'm glad he's finally getting used. Actually, I don't think he's a butterfly. I think he's, um, I think he's some type of moth. that right there. Uh-oh. Please come up. Please don't stick. We got glue all over it. Ugh. All right. So there are our, our two grungy postcards. I was going to call them post office. Our two grungy po postcards. And then on this side, maybe I'll take a stencil. And of course, I can't find it. It was right here. Any old stencil. I use this one because it reminds me of um, Beehive. Or Honeycomb. Put a little bit of Just randomly. Oh my goodness. Whoops. All right. There we go. Thank you guys for coming. And uh, if you're new here, please uh, consider subscribing. Uh, like, share. And again, you guys, I appreciate you so much. Um, I wouldn't have a channel without you. So thank you very much for uh, following me or being a subscriber. Okay, bye.